What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. So there's usually a big like mad dash holiday rush uh, when we're getting closer to Black Friday. You know, a lot of these watchmakers, especially the micro brands, they want to get their products out in front of the prospective viewers. So they send me and other watch reviewers a whole lot of products. The weird thing is we just got one and I can, it, I can hear things rattling around, okay? And, and I've held enough watch products to know what like watches feel like when they're packed. And I've packaged enough watches to know what they feel like when they're packed. And this doesn't feel like a watch. I think it, it, it could be some straps, but there's, there's literally like nothing on the box that would let me know who it's from. Um, and now that I'm recording this, I'm realizing I should... Got so don't use this. You know what, hold on. Yo, what's up? Yo, Gato. Um, okay, we just got a package, and there's no writing on the package. Do you know who this is from? Because we're, we're recording right now. Uh, no, it was just in the pure box. Okay. Um, stand by. Let me open this. One second, dude. <laughs> dude, this is... <laughs> Dude, you, you're trolling me, dude. This is either you or Dallin. It's literally a, a wrinkled up piece of... Yo, I actually have the cameras on right now. <laughs> I know. I, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. I Neither Dallin or me have ever sent you anything. Dude, this, it's a wrinkled up piece of paper and a, a little... <laughs> I don't know if we're even going to use this, dude. It's a Welch's fruit snack bag and a wrinkled up piece of paper uh no man i i'm telling you that wasn't that one or me we we haven't sent anything that was just that was just in the peel box you said that i came with a piece of paper too it's like yeah it's it's, it's well it's welch's fruit snacks which are actually like my favorite that's why i think it's it's either you or dallin sent me these and a wrinkled up piece of paper and um, wait are you gonna are you eating that uh, Dude, don't, don't eat that. Stop it right now. Stop. Don't eat it. <laughs> hey, you said that there was a letter in there. What, what does it say? Uh, I first thought it was just like packing something or hold on. It is like legit wrinkled up. Dude, I'm showing this to the camera right now so that you can see it. It says Vero with Vero's logo, like Vero. I'm actually wearing a, <laughs> dude, I am wearing the Vero workhorse right now. It is Vero, and then I think coordinates, it says waiting for you, with like a winky face, it, uh, like emoticon, and then again it says Vero. The Dude, no, no. Dude, at the bottom it says, P.S. Don't be scared, nothing to worry about, and then it says, we promise, with, an, with a question mark. We promise? Uh... That doesn't sound sketchy at all. You said I'm gonna look. Coordinates. Yeah, it's it is, it is. I'm showing the camera right now, dude. It is legit coordinates. It says waiting for you, Vero. And then the craziest part it says, "Don't be scared. Nothing to worry about." Okay, that's all well and good. But then it says, "We promise." With a question mark. Who who does this and then puts a question mark at the end of it? Man, that that doesn't sound like uh, like you should go there at all. I'm gonna go. No, that's not a good idea, man. You shouldn't go. No, I'm. I'm ready. YouTube. YouTube. It just doesn't sound like a good idea. I don't. Don't do anything stupid. Just don't go. Don't. Don't be stupid. All right. Well. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Sounds good, man. All right. Peace, dude. Peace. Don't do anything stupid. You should know by now. Stupid's my middle name. Let's go find these coordinates, yeah. All right, guys, so I plugged the coordinates in, and um, it's actually not too far away from where uh, the office is. Here's the thing. I don't know if I trust Gato, okay? <laughs> I trust him with a lot of things. In fact, he's going to be editing what I'm talking like about right now. So, Gato, you, you are hearing me complain about you. This seems like something you would do, Gato, okay? 
this could be payback for making him do his own episode. You know, I, I, you guys voted that he should have his own episode because he misspelled a few words in another episode. And so the, clip it. This is also water resistant, although it doesn't quite say how much. So I'm going to assume that it's pretty safe if you want to take a shower with it. Or maybe go swimming with it and it'll be totally fine. So that was a very fun episode and he did a good job, but this little joke, it could be payback. But he genuinely sounded like he didn't know what he was talking about. So, and this is easily the most bizarre package we've ever received. And we receive, you know, hundreds of packages a year. So th this is bizarre. Uh, I'm going to be prepared. And we're going to try to figure out what the heck. Waiting for you. Don't be scared, nothing to worry about, we promise? If this is from Vero, I'm not concerned because they wouldn't hurt me. I think, I think we have a good working relationship with one another. And if this is from Gato, I don't think he would do me harm. <laughs> I think I'm a good boss, I don't know. But if this is from someone else that's uh, luring me to, um, you know, a secluded area, uh, it's not gonna end well for them. Might not end well for me. We'll find out. It is 1.13 p.m. Let's get down to business. So, against my better judgment, or I guess against Gato's better judgment, I actually drove here. Um, thanks to this weird-ass cryptic letter, um, we've been probably driving for about an hour, and the thing that sucks is this is coordinates, I think, to like the entrance of where we showed up, but I don't know what we are looking for. I don't know if there is a person we're waiting for. I don't know if... if it's an item we are looking for. So we're literally having to inch our way up this trail, scanning all sides to see if anything's out of the ordinary. It's the most bizarre thing. So we've taken a little break right now. It would suck to have driven all this way just to go back and, and not have anything. So who knows? Who knows if we're even gonna use this footage because it might have just been a big waste of time. So we're moving again we're on the move hopefully the camera's not too shaky um it's dusty it's windy it's cold it's in the middle of the night oh my god what what is that i, I see something oh wait stop 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 dude what is that hold on let me flip this around I don't know. <laughs> the this is the only thing we've seen on the trail. I'm gonna go look at it. All right, stand by, guys. This is fucking weird. All right, so this could just be rubbish, but it's the first thing that we've seen on the trail the entire night, and I'm getting kind of tired of this. So we have both cameras going again. I have no idea what the heck's going on, but. All right, it is a doll. No fucking way. There's, okay. This is what we're looking for. I hope the camera picks this up. There's coordinates taped to this doll. So this is turning into one stupid treasure hunt. Okay, if we turn around everywhere, it's just, a big expansive nothingness there's nothing we've been driving for an hour it's in the middle of the night and now we get another clue so we have a gps we're gonna plug this in and we're gonna figure out if this is near us or if this is someplace else we have to go at a later date but there's like there's no other information except this and so we got one set of coordinates with that letter now we have this creepy fucking doll and um connie's gonna plug this in we're gonna see where this is so let's figure this out all right so this is 
freaking weird. Actually, hold on. Wait, babe. It's in the desert. What? The coordinates lead us to the desert. Dude, this is actually getting kind of crazy. 